You may not realize it, but we're in the middle of a high stakes war. Not in the Middle East, but right here in your browser. And what's at stake is a few precious seconds of your attention while staring at this magic glowing screen. It is November 24th, 2023, and you're watching The Code Report. Back in June 2023, a small group of YouTube users were surprised to get this message, cutting them off for having an ad blocker enabled, making them the first casualties of YouTube's ad blocker blocker. Because you're just a material girl living in a material world, your attention is very valuable. It only takes a few seconds for a good advertisement to inject some information into your hippocampus, where it can then be transferred to the frontal lobe to manipulate your impulse control to get you to buy something you don't need. By the way guys, Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale, Fireship Pro, 40% off, learn to code and get a free t-shirt, buy it now before the impulse fades from your prefrontal cortex. That's an example of an honest advertisement that you should definitely take advantage of, but most companies need to pay someone else to shill for them. In 2022, Alphabet the company generated $280 billion in revenue. That's a lot of money, but $224 billion of that is from advertisements. But then what's even more crazy is that of that 224, only 29 billion comes from YouTube. That's only 11% of advertising revenue, and I would have expected that number to be a lot higher based on the number of ads that I skip on YouTube. It's the second most popular website in the world, but platforms like Facebook and Instagram do a much better job of generating ad revenue. On top of that, YouTube is extremely expensive to operate. Streaming a video around the world with low latency requires massive data centers with CDNs all over the world. YouTube's infrastructure is truly a technological marvel, and they offer it all for free in exchange for a little bit of your privacy and some real estate in your brain. However, this is unacceptable for many because it requires an invasion of privacy. Information might be collected about your browsing history, location, and demographics just to show you targeted advertisements, and that's kind of creepy. That's the philosophical argument anyway, but mostly ads are just annoying as fuck, and we should have the freedom to use the internet the way we want to. Although as a content creator myself, I could make the argument that ad block is theft. Whenever you watch an ad, 55% goes to me, with the other 45% going to the big guy. However, when someone goes to the Chrome Web Store and installs uBlock Origin, an open source Chrome plugin used by 34 million other people, it uses a variety of techniques to block ads both on websites and YouTube. Like it'll block network requests that go to ad servers, it'll block analytics tools that collect data, and also blocks the JavaScript that's responsible for displaying things like banner ads. Once installed, you can test it to make sure that it's working okay on websites like adblocktester.com, and because it's all open source, you can see how everything works in the source code here on GitHub. But now you're a filthy pirate stealing from honest creators like Logan Paul and SS Sniper Wolf. And if you keep installing things like Adblock, Adblock Plus, AdGuard, Ghostery, uBlock Origin, Adblocker Ultimate, or use privacy-focused browsers like Brave, YouTube's gonna go out of business and take all of its creators with it. That's the argument anyway. And YouTube has been cracking down. Recently, it's been promoting its own ad blocker, YouTube Premium, and it shares revenue from that product with YouTube creators. In full disclosure, I've been an affiliate for YouTube Premium in a past video, and I currently use it myself. But there's a significant number of people out there who you couldn't pay to pay for the service, no matter how much advertising you try to inject into their encephalons. Facebook also waged war against ad blockers back in 2016, but largely failed, although Netflix recently cracked down on account sharing, which to them is considered theft, and their stonks have been way up ever since. And the thing is, YouTube could just ignore this issue and chalk it up to the cost of doing business on the internet, but instead they woke up and chose violence. If you have an ad blocker enabled, you may get this warning that video playback will be disabled if you don't disable your ad blocker. In addition, the overall experience for ad block users will likely get worse in the future. Like recently, a small group of users were noticing a five second delay before a video started playing, which is apparently part of YouTube's efforts to detect ad blockers. Now, a bigger part of this war though comes down to Chrome extensions. When you build a Chrome extension, you have to have a manifest.json file. This file defines what the extension is allowed to do on the user's behalf, like access network requests to block ads. If we look at the manifest for uBlock, you'll first notice that it's using manifest version two. Then if we go down to permissions, you'll notice it's using web request and web request blocking. These APIs made it easy for an extension to intercept a network request and then modify it so it can't display the ad it wants to. Now the thing is, manifest version 2 is being deprecated in favor of version 3, which replaces the web request API with the declarative net request API, which is far more limited when it comes to dynamically filtering content. What's kind of funny is that Chrome actually might need ad blockers, because as recently as last Christmas, the FBI was recommending people install them to protect against malicious advertisements hosting ransomware. Ultimately, I do think it's possible that YouTube could eradicate ad blockers altogether, but currently it's a lot like when Barbara Streisand tried to suppress a photo of her house that almost nobody knew about, resulting in the opposite intended effect making the photo extremely famous. We're currently seeing the Streisand effect with ad blockers, where more and more people are learning about them and using them despite the fact that they violate the terms of service. It's also making the ad blockers become more sophisticated. It's only a matter of time before someone invents an ad blocker 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 that can block this ad blocker blocker, forcing YouTube to then invent its own ad blocker
blocker, 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 blocker. At which point this joke becomes too repetitive. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.